This is the original road boy representing Lebo and Tembi, Theo and Junior for the Boom Shaka Mania right in the streets of Azania. Boom! Get ready to dive into the dynamic heartbeat of an extraordinary journey with the Boom Shaka documentary. From its pulsating origins to its cultural influence, this film unravels the captivating story behind the beats, the moves, and the spirits that define the unique world of Boom Shaka. Join us as we explore the evolution, impact, and untold tales that resonate with this dynamic cultural phenomenon. Get ready to groove as we unveil the essence of Boom Shaka like never before. Boom Shaka was a pioneering South African Kwaito music group consisting of Junior Sokela, Lebo Matosa, Theon Dletwa, and Tembi Siete. But before we get into the impact and influence they have as a complete group, let's get into the early life separately. Lebo Matosa was born in Davyton, a township just outside of Benoni. Lebo attended St. Mary's High School and she began singing at 7 years old in a local church choir. When her family moved to Johannesburg, she discovered bubblegum music, which is a kind of disco-infused pop that was popularized by people like Brenda Farsi, who Matosa considered an idol. Tembi Sieta was born on 25th March 1977 in Soweto Gauteng. She grew up in Sibukweng in Val with her auntie and uncle. And Junior was born in 1973 in Midland Soweto. He said he used to run away from home to stay in Hillbro and Yeovil for days and some weeks, just dancing and rapping in the streets with his friends Ishmael Morabe, Josie member and South African Kwaito hip-hop singer. Junior Sokela was only 14 when he started drawing a large crowd of people on the streets by doing his performances. Morabe and him just used the opportunity to pocket money for food. Theo was born in 1975 and he grew up in Springs. So Tembi met Lebo and Theo in nightclubs, Junior and Lebo met in his time in Johannesburg, Junior Sokela and Theo and Ledra met through an association with the record label created by producer Don Lager to evolve and change the bubblegum music in South Africa. Lebo then got more involved in music together with Tembi and Mabato they formed LTM Girls. Eventually the South African Kwaito music group formed in 1993. You are my brother, you are my sister, I am your sister. Shaka became one of the leading Kwaito groups in South Africa and had an extreme effect on youth audiences throughout the country. Boom Shaka was purposefully put together to appeal to a youth audience by presenting a new sound and a new style. Boom Shaka were known for their distinctive sound, visual style and dance moves, attributes that contributed to the youth appeal. They say that their dance moves come from an urban dance called the Kwasa Kwasa. These sexy Kwaito dance moves add to their popularity and their uniqueness is propelling Boom Shaka's music in the youth radio charts and on a global level as well. The major presence of female vocalists in the group, specifically the artists Lebo Matosa and Tembi Siete have been seen as both modes of female objection and simultaneously voices the feminist movement. The style of dancing and dressing has stirred controversy among South African listeners as it invokes a type of female sexuality that many find degrading. The artists, however, would prefer to see their music as a liberating force. This sentiment is especially reflected in their track, It's About Time. They released their first single, It's About Time, in 1993 and subsequently released a debut LP titled Kwara Kwara in 1994. Boom Shaka became one of the most successful bands in the mid-1990s in South Africa and their music became the soundtrack of many young people in the newly democratic South Africa. Boom Shaka was able to break into the international music scene and achieve success outside of South Africa, such as in London and among other places in the world. Boom Shaka being the first Kwaito group and with the nature of the music they created, it was able to unleash amongst young black consumers an explosive desire to disengage from the long years of oppression and political protest of the apartheid era. After Boom Shaka left their record label in 1998, the Kwaito orientated Galawa Records because of controversy surrounding the creative ownership of material and disputes over their record royalties. 
The group sought a new recording contract that would invest in their vision and work to promote them internationally. And so when they could not find what they were looking for, they decided to do it themselves and signed only a one album 12 month publishing deal with Polygram Records and hired their own management. In the process, they have emerged as the only South African musicians outside of the country's biggest selling artist, gospel star Rebecca Malope, to own 75% of their master recordings and 100% copyrights on their new material. Boom Shaka was again groundbreaking in an industry that was known for taking unfair advantage of their recording artists. Although Boom Shaka's music contributed in the apartheid era, they were still able to stir controversy in other ways. In 1997, the group caused controversy by creating and performing a quite version of the South African national anthem Ngosi Sigaleli Africa at the South African Music Awards. Some viewed this as a prostitution of African culture for commercial purposes, but the group saw it in a different way. It's a little bit of a misunderstanding. We're not dissing anything. This is our own version, one for the young people, said the band leader Junior. Our parents know the lyrics to that song, but a lot of kids don't. Even though they stand at school and hear it sung every morning, young people's reaction to our version of the song has been incredible. They love it. And this is the way they learn the lyrics too. In addition, Lebo Matosa's dance routine and revealing short skirts caused often controversy and offended many who were shocked that a teenager could be so daring. The group eventually broke up in 2000 after an amazing catalogue of 1996 It's Our Game, No Need to Claim, in 1998 Ain't No Stopping Us Now, in 1999 Words of Wisdom. Lebo Matosa then decided to launch her own solo career. She became a pioneer in the field of copyrights for South African artists. In a move unheard of for the industry and especially for a female, Matosa negotiated and secured full publishing rights and ownership for her work. Her debut solo album Dream went gold within a month of its launch in 2000. At the 2000 South African Music Awards, Matosa won three South African Music Awards Best Dance Album for Dream, Best Dance Single for her debut single Ntozabandu from the same album, and the Best Female Vocalist. Her next album Drama Queen released in 2004 and again earned the South African Music Award for Best Dance Album. <laughs> Drama Queen tried different styles to break out of the house in Guaito Mall. She topped the South African pop charts in 2004 and in 2006 she was nominated for the British Mobile Award. She performed all over the world from Southern Africa to Malaysia to London. One of her most significant performances being at the Nelson Mandela's 85th birthday party. She also taught the US with the show The Vagina Monologues, her appearance in the show with such a positive feminist message is indicative of the attitude held by Matosa, who according to author Zine Magube has become a role model for many young South African women, appearing at first glance to simply be reinforcing stereotypes about the nature of black female sexuality. Some critics have argued however that Boom Shaka's female members have used the skimpy clothes and stimulated sex on stage to promote a variety of opposite concerns. This strong pro-feminist attitude combined with her often shocking onstage sexuality earned her the nickname the new Madonna of the townships. Matosa also tried her hand acting television shows which included Backstage Generations and Movango. Tembi Siete made her debut film with the hijack stories in a minor role, then she joined with SABC1 drama Yizo Yizo, meanwhile she sang the track Sean Tomazane for the soundtrack for Yizo Yizo season 2. In the same year she joined with SABC1 drama Gazlam where she played the role Lerato until 2004. She continued to perform as a singer where she released her debut solo album Lollipop in 2001. After the success of her album she released the second album Spatata which included popular solo tracks such as Shai Zandla and Empate Gahle. In 2005 she acted in the direct to video film Crossing the Line by playing the role of Pumla. Meanwhile in 2006 she made her first leading role in SABC1 soccer drama series Zone 14. In the series she played the role of Nina Molloy for four seasons with good reviews. In 2009, she released Black Diamond via Dal Contemporary album Music Is My Life. In 2014, she acted in the Mzanti Magic film The Gift. In the same year, she co-hosted the Mzanti Magic show The Juice with Bob Mabena. She joined with the popular ETV soapy Rhythm City with the role of Bongi. And in 2020, she made another popular television role that is in the Mzanti Magic telenovela Gomorrah. In 2020, she appeared in the Netflix original Kings of Joburg, and in 2021, she was a guest judge in one episode of the 17th season of Mzanti Magic singing reality competition, Idol South Africa. Apart from acting, she's also working as a beautician where she owns the salon Azuri. In February 2022, Siete was announced to be a judge on the season 18 of Idol South Africa. She returned the following year in 2023. 
whilst the other members Junior and Theo weren't so active in the industry anymore. It's about time oh, wow. to listen to Boom Shaka. Uh -oh. What, what's this? I wanna be free. <laughs> Just some of those household classics that never get old. 1990s pioneering Guaido group Boom Shaka pushed boundaries as they had the nation singing along to their multi platinum selling hits. Led by the late Lebo Matosa before going solo in the 2000s, the group changed the face of the music industry as we know it to this day. Knowing her, I remember our last, last chat, she told me that she was ready to have a family and uh, she had found herself a man and it's time to have babies. Oh, she loved kids, guys. Yo, right now, she'll be doing music, you know, still winning awards, still releasing head tracks. She was so creative. You all know that. You know, she had style and swag. There's never a day passes without, you know, thinking about her. Not shy to explore their talents, Bumshaga's lyrics still resurface to this day on social media. Many still lolling at... Ten years since Lebo Matosa's passing, I say Lebo Matosa, what comes to mind for you? Uh, remembering Lebo Matosa, I remember her by the song uh, Shaka Boom 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 because it was my favorite song when it's I was about to, to listen to Boom Shaka, Shaka Boom Boom Boom. <laughs> she was a great dancer. Um, she always never went to get, like with society's norms. You know, people would always insult her by, oh, you dress like this, you do this, you do that, you know. Yeah, crazy things. Yo, I love that song. <laughs> Whenever that, play, that song plays, I just lose my morals and you like, you just go crazy. <laughs> As we remember a performer who for years tirelessly rocked stages, a performer who left us too soon. Don't forget. You gotta seize the knees and disease with this and let's get busy yo, with my crew. So what do you think about this label? About what? That was label, guys. Come on. Because well, everything lies inside me and no one can take that away. No way you, 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 no way you,